the interaction begins between the nucleophile and the substrate. Well, I've always liked science and I liked animals, so I chose biology. It's been a great major. Many undergraduate students don't get the opportunity to do research with faculty, but uh, USD offers this and actually the biochemistry major requires it. There's not a layer of infrastructure that separates the students from the principal investigator of a major research effort. A red ray is traced through this droplet of water. We use technology in the classroom that helps the professor tailor his answer to the student's understanding. What do you know about dispersion? Get out your clicker. We have uh, clickers where we choose an answer from a multiple choice option on the board. This clicker technology allows a student to just enter a response without any kind of fear that anybody else knows what their answer is. Of course, I do. I have access to that information offline. A typical class size at USD is 20 to 25 students uh, in lower division classes, and in upper division classes, a typical class size could be only eight students. Okay. I have a question. Yes, Kira. Um, what is this when it says delta minus pi, period? Oh. My learning style works really well with one-on-one -on -one attention, so I knew that's what I wanted out of a college. And when I visited some larger campuses, I knew that I would just be one facing the crowd, and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have relationships with my professors, and that's what I have here. My argument is basically that the theory of temporal parts is incorrect. Almost every professor I've had here at USD has ended up being one of my friends. Brandon Wagon's piece goes into the details of the arguments a lot more. USD has a program for freshmen called the Preceptorial Program, and what this is is a special professor that you have is going to be your advisor for all four years. Okay. That's really helpful. <laughs> Whether I'm getting lunch or studying, I can't go five minutes without seeing somebody I know. I live in South Mission Beach, and I feel like the beach is kind of an extension of USD. It's really nice to be able to study, and then when you need a break, just take two steps out to the sand.